Hey everyone, it's Tamerverse, and welcome to the last episode of The Kiss List. This kind of feels like it's gone on forever. Oh, fuck me! Okay. And then, she hands me a paper with a picture of Chris on it. I walked right into her trap. I'd be impressed if I didn't hate her damn guts so much. Chris is literally the single worst person Riley could have picked. She's clearly been paying attention to you two getting closer. And she used it against me. Evil genius. If I kiss Chris, he breaks his pledge. But if I don't, I lose the kiss list and have to leave Kentwood. And do I tell Chris or not? What the hell am I gonna do? Whatever you do, you gotta do it quick. The kiss list is over tomorrow, not at midnight after the black and white ball. No pressure. If anyone can figure this out, it's you. Thanks, Lois. Alright, I gotta go. I'll talk to you later. By the way, I'm eating gummies. A lifesaver. Good morning, Sarah. You're up and about and talking. The fuck? Sorry about the other day. New environments are still hard for me. And I didn't really have the words to express my feelings. I can understand that. But now, I'm feeling much more settled. I'm glad to hear that. Well, you look great. I feel better than I have in a long time. You, on the other hand, look totally stressed. Hey, I'm, I'm totally freaking. There are some really crazy stuff going on now. And I'm not sure what to do. Let's you and me go for a walk. So... The black and white ball is tomorrow night, which is the perfect opportunity to kiss Chris. Right. So now I have to make a decision. I either convince this guy I really care about to break his pledge, or I lose the kiss list and I have to leave school. Yeah, I think I understand. So what do you think I should do? Well, first of all, I'm touched that you're so divert- you- fuck. You've devoted so much energy trying to make sure what happened to me doesn't happen to anyone else. But I'm really not happy to see you making the same mistake I did. The same mistake? How do you mean? I almost gave my life away because of bullies and mean girls. And now you're doing the same thing, spending all your time bringing them down. You're giving a life to way to bullies, too. Just in a different way. I never thought of it that way. You want to know what I finally realized while I was in that program? That made it so I was ready to come home? What's that? Three things. First, be yourself. You're all you have and you can't betray that. And I feel that. Second, follow your heart. Sometimes it's the quietest voice, so you always have to listen close. And the third thing, forgiveness. I learned to forgive the bullies who hurt me. What? But they don't deserve- Look, you never know what drives people to behave badly. But I couldn't hold on to my hurt and anger anymore. Because that meant I was still giving my life away. And no one should be able to take that from you. Especially girls like Riley. Wow, that's really mature. Promise me, no matter what happens with Riley, you'll start living for you. I promise you, Sarah. Now, I just have to figure out what to do about Chris. Follow your heart. You've got a good one. Hey, Taylor. Hey, Chris. Do you think we could talk in person? 
I don't know. I'm still pretty pissed. I totally get it, but would you meet me anyway? And then if you want after that, you don't ever have to talk to me again. Fine. I'll give you an hour. I'm finishing up my term paper. Oh, damn it, birds. Great. Thanks, Chris. Where do you want to meet? Uh, I'll just come over there. Hey, Taylor. Hi, Chris. It's nice to see you. Yeah, you too. I'm glad you agreed to meet me. I just need to understand why you do this whole kiss list thing. I know, and I promise I can explain. Okay. So explain. I'm listening. The kiss list was all to take down Riley. And she's the epitome of a bully, and you know why I hate bullies. I do, but why can't you just ignore her? <sighs> Fuzz on my phone. Maybe I should, but after what happened to my sister, taking down girls like Riley became my pledge. And sometimes pledges can drive us to extremes. Well, I do know something about that. So, I guess I can't hold it against you. Really? You mean that? We've been through too much together for me to turn my back on you. The school year is almost up, which means my pledge is almost over. So what are you saying? I'm saying it can't come soon enough, because all I want to do is be with you. Are you alright? You seem really nervous about something. No, I'm... I'm fine. I just re really need to tell you something. Well? This is it. Tell Chris he's the last person on the kiss list. I'm gonna tell the truth. You're the last person on the kiss list. If I don't kiss you by tomorrow night at midnight, I lose and have to change schools. But if I do kiss you, I take down Riley. Wow, well, I respect your honesty, even though this whole kiss list thing is disturbing. I know, it's so stupid, but know that I was trying to do something good. So, what do you want to do? Me? Fuck. Since I'm being honest, I still want to kick Riley's ass. Even after everything that's happened? If I don't, then everything I've done's for nothing. I'm protecting anyone Riley has ever and will ever bully, for my sister's sake. The kiss list was the only way to do it. You have to stay true to yourself, but I'm sorry. I can't help you. My pledge is too important. You have to understand that. I do. It sucks, but I really do. You go into the black and white ball tomorrow night? The person I was hoping would ask me hasn't gotten around to it yet. Look, I'd love to, but a date to the dance is definitely a hashtag wait to date no no. But I'm sure you'll have fun with Lewis. So I guess I'll see you at the dance tomorrow night? Yeah, you will. I gotta go finish my term paper. Cool. See ya. I chose the wrong one. Fuck. Wow. You're really letting it get down to the wire. The dance is tomorrow night and the kiss list ends at midnight. What the fuck? What <laughs> <laughs> with that standing up fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> I look like I was doing a lap dance. No point in doing something without a drastic ending. Oh, dramatic fucking hell. So what are your plans at the dance? You still going for the win? I guess we'll find out at the black and white ball. Mm. 
Four of twenty. Hurry the fuck up. Ugh. I fucking hate ants. Okay. Tonight's the big night. Yep. It all comes down to the black and white ball. Uh-huh. At midnight tonight, the kiss list is over. Okay, Lewis. Will you kiss Chris or won't you? Chill, you sound like a crazy sports commentator. Sorry. I'm a nervous wreck. Everything is riding on what you decide to do tonight. No pressure or anything. Right. Well, win or lose, tonight you gotta look good. No, you gotta look great. No. You gotta look okay. Simmer down. And we can't afford to wear anything fancy, even though it's already in our closet. It's cute, I guess. Alright, let's do this. Time to go. Are you ready? I hope so. This isn't black and white. There's indigo everywhere. So there's the throne. Yep, a school tradition Riley invented. It's for the head of the black and white ball planning committee. Who, of course, is Riley. Maybe not this year. That's what I'm talking about. Where's Chris? Damn, he looks good. Hopefully, Chris thinks you look good, too. No. Thanks, Lewis. I'm gonna grab some punch, then make my move. Just wanted to wish you luck tonight. I have something for you. What's this? An enrollment form for Yardell High. You know, for when you lose and have to change schools. I'll hold on to it, so you'll have something to wipe your losing tears with. Guess that means you're ready for tonight? We'll see. I guess we will. You know what the best thing is about the kissless ending tonight? What's that? No matter what happens, I don't have to look at your disgusting face anymore. You wretch! Don't worry, Taylor. We got this. You guys are geniuses. Who knew club soda really worked? You guys are the best. You're the best. We're just happy to be in your presence. Now go get him. What the fuck is that walk sequence? Nice try, loser. Just you wait. Enough's enough. Aww. You know what? You definitely deserve worse, but you're not worth my time. I'm gonna go dance with Chris. Bye now. I saw what you did, young lady. You are out of here. What? Why? To give you some time to think about spilling punch on fellow students. What? No, it was Taylor's fault. She made me do it. Shut up. This isn't funny. Stop laughing. Care to dance? I have to tell you something, Taylor. You know my feelings for you have really grown over the last semester. Mine too, Chris. Mine too. Let me finish. I've been giving it a lot of thought, and... And what? And if winning the kiss list is important to you, I'll break my pledge and kiss you. What? But why? I really care about me, you, which means I put your happiness before my own. That... 
I'm speechless. But there's a but. If we kiss and you win, it means I put your needs first. But you didn't put. Oh fuck! Right. So I'll break my pledge so you can win. But then we can't be together. I understand. You're the sweetest person I've ever met, Chris. But you can't break your pledge. You're too close to seeing it through. What about the kiss list? To hell with the kiss list. Can I get a hug? For sure. Don't do it, Chris. She's only trying to kiss you to win the kiss list. I already know I'm on the kiss list, Riley, and Taylor decided not to kiss me. Oh, I knew you'd lose, loser. Hold on. I wasn't sure if I could trust you to put me first, me and my pledge first, but you did, so I have something to tell you. Busted my ass for the last month to finish my final term paper early. I finished it today, which means I'm officially done with high school, which means I finished my pledge. So you're saying... Are you kidding me? Let me be the first to congratulate you on winning the kiss list. I lost? No! Oh, Chris. I may have saved it. Yo, can I get everybody's attention, please? Usually, the head of the black and white ball planning committee sits on the throne. But I was told to keep an eye on Taylor and Chris. And if they kissed... Announce Taylor as our black and white ball queen. that throne. We don't need a throne to know who is popular in this school. I say we all deserve a throne. We all deserve to be kings and queens of this school. Riley's reign of terror on this school is over. And from now on, we're all on the same level. No one better or worse than another. No one cooler or lamer. We all deserve a seat at the table. After everything we put her through to get that throne, Taylor rejects it so we can all be equals? She's so awesome. Fuck yeah. One week later. I have to admit, school's way better without Riley out with Riley out of powder. Everyone seems so happy. Yep, it's pretty great. The only downside is that I was cooler than average. Now everyone's just as cool as me. Hey girl, love your boots. Yeah, um, thanks. Not as much as I'm loving your top. You're such a rock star. Seriously, Taylor, Kentwood is so much better all thanks to you. Thanks, you guys. Have a great day. And then there's that. What? Having to get used to compliments from those two. It's like seeing a cat on a leash. Just 
weird. Sometimes new takes a little getting used to. Hi, Chris. Hey, babe. Ugh, you guys are so gross. I saved it. Fuck yeah. Not only am I now average socially, but I'm a third wheel every time we hang out. I can call Riley for you to see if she wants to go out with you. Ugh, no thanks. Let's go to lunch. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then a boyfriend. Missed six worshippers. Oh. We'll do love life then. Yes, squish it. We'll do a different style. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Color. Yes, bitch. Okay, and then uh. no, fuck it, let's just take it there. God. Um. Neutral. Yep, that'll that'll do it. Okay. That scared me. Perfect. You're about to meet a cute guy. Yep, that looks better to me anyway. You ready to take this city by storm? Yeah, fuck it. 
Part 1. Welcome to New York. Oh fuck, I love New York. I wanna go back so bad. I'm finally here. Is this fucking loud? It's as quiet as it could be. Watch out! Mwah! Hang on, I got gotcha. you. Thought for sure I was going to fall. Catching you was the least I could do after running you over. I'm Ethan, by the way. Hi. I'm Taylor. Listen, I feel terrible about knocking you over. How can I make it up to you? I'm just lucky I ran into someone so friendly. And I'm lucky I ran into someone so cute. Look, I'm a born and raised New Yorker. I'd love to show you around. Ethan? Who's she? Sydney. What's going on here? Oh, hi, I'm... Excuse me, was I talking to you? Sydney, this is Taylor. She just moved here. No time to chat. But I'll see you tonight, Ethan? Yep, I'll be there. Perfection. Toodles. Sorry, Taylor. That wasn't a very warm welcome. It's cool. At least you are nice. But listen, I really would love to show you around the city. Seriously? Aren't you sick of all the tourist spots? I actually know. Never been to any. When you're a native, you miss out on all that stuff. Like... Wearing these t-shirts. OMG, you guys are the cutest couple I've ever seen. Love the matching tees. See? We look awesome. Come on. We'll go to the Statue of Liberty. Times Square. Coney Island. <laughs> Everywhere I went on my band trip. Seriously, all that I have to do is go to Broadway and that was my whole fucking band trip. What do you say? Will you play Taurus with me for the day? OMG, a private tour of iconic spots with an extremely hot New Yorker? Ah, fuck. <laughs> Only one way. Rain check? Sure. But you at least... You have to at least let me buy you a drink at my favorite spot. Come on. Welcome to the spot. Best bar in the city. This place is great. We think so. Zoe! Hey, Rumi. Who's your friend? This is Taylor. She just moved here. Which means she's in the market for cool new friends to show her the ropes. Don't worry, girl. We'll have you walking, dressing, and dating like a New Yorker in no time. She's cute. Did you also grow up here like Ethan? Oh, I'm from all over the place. My dad's in the military, so we move around a lot. I was born in Panama, then we moved to Germany. After that, Ohio, Oregon. Then high school was split between Croatia and North Dakota. Whoa. That's a lot of places. Too many. I never want to move again. I came here for art school a few years ago, and I don't think I'll ever leave. If it isn't my favorite customers, what can I get y'all? Just weird bee. A spicy margarita for me. So, new girl. Where'd the roomies find you? Actually, Ethan sort of ran me over with his bike. Leave it to Ethan to find a cute girl and swerve. And then actually get you to come to out to the spot with him. Well, he told me this place was the best. Thanks. I'm Brandon. I own this place. Hey, Brandon. I'm Taylor. It must be pretty cool to run your own business. It's 
hard work, but I love it. And to think my life almost went in a completely different direction. What do you mean? Oh, fuck. <laughs> God, I lost my head. Only thing left was my eyebrows. What the fuck? The game's kind of lagging. If you couldn't tell. For the longest time, my dream was to become a professional musician. Mine too. I was in a band, and we were actually pretty popular. I was in the band. Until we broke up. I felt lost for weeks, wandering around Brooklyn, wondering what I'd do next. That's when I saw the for sale sign in the window right outside this very bar. I went to talk to the old owner, and the rest was history. That's such a cool story. But don't you miss playing music? I sure fuck do. Nah, truth is, I wasn't very good. But I still love music. I try to host bands whenever I can. In fact, I managed to book the hottest band in Brooklyn for a private VIP show tonight. I'm totally sold out, but if you're interested, I could get you on the list. Thanks, Brandon. I'll let you know. So Ethan tells me you had a pretty dramatic morning. Taylor definitely knows how to make an entrance. I believe it. I'm gonna find a Zoe. Ring, ring, motherfucker. Sorry, it's my mom. So I met Sydney. Uh oh, jealous girlfriend Barbie? I'm betting that went great. So then she is Ethan's girlfriend. With those two, it's impossible to say. They've been on and off since I met Ethan. Lately, it seemed like they're on the rocks. Oh, I see. Another round? Wish I could, but my new roommate's expecting me. Another time? I'm gonna hold you to that, Taylor. Definitely. See you later, Taylor. Knock. Oh my god. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that. You? Oh, hell no. You're the tailor who's renting out my ex my room? You're my new roommate? I don't think so. I prefer not to live with boyfriends stealing randos. Wait, what? Bye! What am I gonna do? I have no place to live. Oh god, I don't even have anywhere to sleep tonight. I better call someone for help. Call Zoe. Wow. Taylor, what's up? Zoe, thank God you're there. Listen, my roommate turned out to be Sydney. She kicked me out and now I have nowhere to go. Ugh, see? Typical psycho Barbie behavior. But hey, don't worry about that. I've got the perfect solution, at least for tonight. Be at the spot in 15 minutes. Ethan will meet you there. Ethan? What exactly am I doing here? Zoe said she had an idea about where I could stay tonight. She does. And it's perfect. Look, that. Look up. See those windows on the top floor? Yeah, what about them? That's where I live. Right above the spot? That's so cool. I'm glad you think, though, because you are staying the night. <laughs> this is it. Home, sweet home. Our humble abode, and for tonight, yours. We're actually looking for a new roommate, so this works out perfectly. Zoe, seriously? You're the best. Not so fast. Ethan and Zoe may vouch for you, but this space is sacred. The three of us live together perfectly. We're soulmate friends. And we take this whole roommates thing very seriously. Basically, she's saying you can stay the night, but if you want to make this permanent, you gotta prove you can hang, got it? Oh, totally. I can definitely hang. Great. In that case, welcome. I'm Isabel, by the way. Nice to meet you. Enough chit-chat. Let's show you where you're staying tonight.
holy wow like it it's incredible but how come it's not already taken oh it is this is noah's room he's on tour with his band right now but it's all yours for tonight uh, i mean it's his room and his bed and all that Oh, girl, if there's one thing Noah won't mind, it's a babe like you sleeping in his bed. It's Sydney. I better take this. Ugh, not her again. Sid, eh? Okay, is it just me or does Sydney have crazy eyes? At least we won't have to deal with her for long. I mean, come on, it's Ethan. What's that supposed to mean? Is. What is it? Uh oh. What? Who's that? N my b b boyfriend. Ex boyfriend is ex, and you broke up with him. So why do you torture yourself by getting notifications every time he posts a new pic? Now get it together before you scare off Taylor. Before we even get a chance to find out if she's roommate material. It was a really intense breakup. They dated for like. Two weeks. The most magical two weeks of my life. Okay. Have we already forgotten that Kevin categorically sucked? I just wish there was some way I could take my mind off him. You know, back home I went through a really bad breakup. You did? Pampering yourself and being surrounded by your friends is the best antidote to a broken heart. OMG, a girls' night. Sounds perfect. We could set up spa stations, do sheet masks, and give ourselves pedicures. Play truth or dare, make prank calls. Totally. OMG, we have to do this. Do what? Taylor just had the best idea. A super girly night of bonding and spa activities. It's the only way I'll get over my wretched breakup with Tevin. No way. That sounds awesome, Taylor. It's kind of perfect, cause Sydney just called to say she'd be three hours late and I've got time to kill. Though, are guys allowed to come to girls' night? Absolutely. Guys need pedicures too, you know. Taylor, if you help us plan this epic girls' night, you'd more than prove you belong in this apartment with us. I agree 100%. This is exactly the kind of thing we look for in a roommate. If I do this for the girls and Ethan, I'll definitely get to live here. Okay, guys. Tonight's gonna be awesome. Fuck! Maybe we can find a show to binge watch? Binge watch? Oh, okay, so... No girls' night, then. Girls' night would've been fun, but... I'm sure there will be plenty of other opportunities to see if Taylor would make a good roommate. Definitely. TV it is. <sighs> 3 a.m. Crash. What was that? Oh, gee, someone's headed for my room. Uh, hello? What were you doing in my bed? Your bed? Hold on, you must be Noah. And you are Taylor. Aren't you supposed to be on tour or something? Cancelled. Look, usually I'd love to find a hot girl in my bed, but I'm pretty tired. We'll have to continue this tomorrow. I thought you were supposed to be gone for, like, months. Long story. Bedhead. And I'm too tired to tell it right now. Not that it's your business, anyway. Oh. Okay. Okay. What are you doing? You don't expect me to sleep in my door clothes, do you? I expect you to sleep in something. Nah. I sleep naked. It's the only way. Whatever. I'm going to bed. Move over, will you? I'm exhausted. Oh, we're gonna... Okay. Wait, you're sleeping right next to you.
All right. Awkward. Complete fucking stranger. Kind of naked in front of you and then sleeping next to you. All right. I'm going to end this episode here. If you like what I do, then subscribe. It's free, and everything's better when it's free. And ring that bell to be notified when I make new videos. If you have any suggestions, then leave them in the comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.